What's going on guys? It's your boy Boxing Facts Over Fiction. I need you to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. Oh my gosh. Manny Pacquiao versus Lucas Matisse. What a fight. Manny Pacquiao at age 39 showed that he can compete with some of the best of the best in the sport we all love. Boxing. Manny Pacquiao went in there and completely destroyed the machine. He looked like the machine to Manny Pacquiao went in there and just completely took apart Lucas Matisse. Lucas Matisse was fighting off the back foot all night long. How are you going to win a fight against one of the most offensive fighters of all time in boxing? Fighting off your back foot when you have zero defense, zero head movement. You fight orthodox. Manny Pacquiao's a southpaw. He's going to hit you clean all night with the straight left hand. And that's what happened. He destroyed you. Destroyed this fight was a complete mismatch. I mean, this was a one-sided fight. Either Oscar De La Hoya took a check and uh, what's his name? Lucas Matisse, they took a check to take a dive or Manny Pacquiao was just that good. Listen, I'm not going to talk about taking dive. I'm just going to give Manny Pacquiao his props and Manny Pacquiao went in there. He did what he had to do. He beat on the, the machine. Manny Pacquiao won the fight. I picked Manny Pacquiao to win the fight, but I did not expect what I seen. I picked him to win by unanimous decision or a TKO, which we seen. Um, it looked like it was a KO, not a TKO. Actually, it was a KO. He stopped him in the seventh round. Lucas Matisse they didn't want to get up. Reminiscent to uh, the Victor Posto loss, um, Lucas Matisse they just completely quit. No, he got knocked out. Lucas Matisse, they got dropped, I believe, like the third or fourth round. Um, Manny Pacquiao, this is what Manny Pacquiao kept doing all night. Manny Pacquiao kept hitting him with a jab and coming with a uppercut. Manny Pacquiao caught this man. It looked like Manny Pacquiao was going to hit him with a straight left because he's southpaw. But he hit him with like three jabs and hit him with a uppercut. And Lucas Matisse, they wasn't expecting that. And once he hit him with an uppercut, he'll come right back with an overhand left. I mean, it was beautiful work. It was beautiful work for Manny Pacquiao, man. He just went in there and showed that age is just a number, man. He can compete with some of the best in the sport. And Lucas Matisse Day um, had a convincing win against Emmanuel Taylor, but when he fought uh, Kiwa Terum, we all know that fight was a little suspect. Kieran Terum looked like he took a dive. I hate talking about guy taking dive, but I mean, you can clearly see but anyway, I have to give props to Manny Pacquiao. He uh, completely obliterated uh, Lucas Matisse. Day. Like I said, I picked Manny Pacquiao to win. I'm sure we all knew Manny Pacquiao was going to win this fight. Styles make fights. Manny Pacquiao is the much faster fighter. He probably hit the hardest now because Lucas Matisse Day doesn't look like the machine he used to look like because he got dropped three times in this fight and he couldn't get up the third time. Manny Pacquiao did what he had to do. I would love to see Manny Pacquiao fight one of these top guns like Terrence Bud Crawford. But we all know who Manny Pacquiao is going to fight next. I'm not going to take a guess. Manny Pacquiao is going to fight Vasil Lomachenko. And Vasil Lomachenko is going to beat Manny Pacquiao and become a superstar. We all know this. That's the plan all along. If Manny Pacquiao doesn't fight Vasily Lomachenko, it's a strong possibility he's going to fight American. And if he fights American, I think he beats American as well. But I don't think he beats Vasily Lomachenko. Vasily Lomachenko beats Manny Pacquiao. Because both offensive fighters, Manny Pacquiao, fighting a guy like Vasily Lomachenko, who is the best offensive fighter in the game right now, well, it's a tie with him and Terrence Crawford. Yes, it's a tie with Vasil Lomachenko and Terrence Crawford being the best offensive fighters in the game right now. You know, I would slightly lean towards Terrence Crawford because he's done more in his career. But it's neck and neck. You can, you can say either one. But the fact that Manny Pacquiao at age 39 went in there and beat on a guy five years younger than him and stopped him and even dropped him three times was impressive. 
Lucas Matisse, they look like he didn't belong in there tonight. Um, I believe Oscar De La Hoya and Lucas Matisse, they took a check tonight because this fight was not even competitive. Manny Pacquiao just raised his stock even more. And Manny Pacquiao made a heck of a lot of money for this fight. I believe he made well over $20 million for this fight. Lucas Matisse, they made like almost $3 million for this fight. But congrats to the Manny Pacquiao, man. What a performance.